We've all inevitably encountered those incredibly challenging periods in life that appear to obscure any glimmer of hope. These are the times when the very fabric of reality seems to conspire against our goals, driving us to despair. Then there are the cravings that seize our hearts with relentless fire, morphing into an all-consuming obsession. Despite our sincere desire, we find ourselves ensnared in a maze of impossibilities with seemingly no way out. But later, you emerge from that situation, and it turns out to be better than you expected. That situation imparts life lessons, a memorable experience that will resonate with you for a lifetime. It teaches you through experience. In this video, I'll explain why and how it happens, and provide guidance on how to overcome such situations in the future. You might feel as though the entire universe is pressing down on your shoulders in the grand play of existence, and you are the lone warrior battling the unrelenting tempest of your current situation. But I want you to know that the universe is not your enemy, rather, it is your most devoted teacher. You're not merely a pawn in a universal chess game, but rather a chosen hero sculpted by the stars themselves. With its infinite wisdom, the universe crafts a tapestry of difficulties, not to defeat you, but to forge you into a resilient warrior prepared for the challenges ahead. Each challenge is a vital component of the masterpiece that is your destiny, a crucible of preparation in which you are systematically refined. If you can envision the universe as your ceaseless trainer, honing your spirit and soul for the impending grandeur woven into your destiny, I recommend watching my earlier video, a profound exploration of how the universe meticulously tests your resolve before bringing your deepest desires into tangible reality. This orchestration is so divine that it could only be the work of the stars themselves. Before I delve into the main part of the video, I want to share one of my experiences from years back. I faced a situation when I had no money, as I was starting my new cafe business. Initially, it didn't run smoothly. I struggled to make profits, and the business was on a downhill slope. I was on the verge of shutting down, despite investing all my earnings and savings into the cafe. Although the food and service were excellent, success didn't come easily. However, in just one week, I was astounded by how the situation turned around. A food vlogger unexpectedly visited my cafe, and I couldn't believe the power of my mind. Even though I was on the brink of losing all hope, I had manifested this occurrence. I used to visualize a vlogger coming to my cafe, relishing the best dish I was known for, a cheesecake, and people loving it so much that it would become the talk of the town. This was my nightly visualization. In no time, the universe granted it all to me. My cafe, which was on the verge of closure, now yields remarkable returns. What I'm trying to convey through this story is that manifestation is real. When done correctly, you can alter the course of events and create the reality you've always yearned for. Through manifestation, you can attract anything. And when I say anything, I mean anything. It could be financial success, a loving and supportive partner, a dream house, or anything you desire. Just name it, desire it, and you can swiftly transform it into reality through manifestation. Everything starts with a faint intention, a passing thought that you dare to give a name, because believe me, once you name it, you've already made progress, as swiftly as a cosmic wink. The cosmos has a way of transmuting desires into reality. Prepare to be astounded by the swift alchemy of manifestation, where wishes aren't just granted but transformed into reality before you can blink. According to Robert Zink, our emotions are what need to be controlled if we want to manifest. 
When we take charge of our emotional state, we can summon the seemingly impossible. We can achieve anything and turn our desires into reality just by taking control of our emotions. Through our emotions, we express a multitude of things. When we connect our present self to the universe, we establish contact with that universal power in the quantum realm through the energy we emit, through the vibrations and frequencies we emanate when we express emotions. You may have seen various gurus sharing a multitude of techniques for manifesting things in life. Let me unveil the truth, manifestation isn't all about technique. While I do agree that technique can help shape your subconscious, real manifestation isn't a technique. It's about the inner state of consciousness. Change your world, it's in your hands. We are the co-creators of our lives, co-creators of everything happening around us. Manifestation is all about feeling the emotions and having belief. A belief that the universe is listening to us and will provide us with whatever we desire. The reality we experience is created by our beliefs. We create our reality with our emotions, thoughts, and beliefs. To manifest the seemingly impossible and bring our desired reality into existence, we need to align our thoughts with beliefs and our emotions. When this alignment is in process, you must focus on manifesting in the present tense. What does Neville Goddard mean by present tense desire? He means we need to manifest as if the impossible has already happened. You've already attained your desires, turned them into reality at this very moment. Let's clarify this with a simple example. Imagine it's your birthday and you receive a gift. Technically, you have the gift in your possession, but you don't truly have it until you unwrap it. Opening the gift box is the key to actually possessing and experiencing the gift. Now apply this idea to the universe. There are multiple possibilities and realities out there, and the universe already holds your desired reality. The catch is that you haven't fully received it because you haven't unwrapped it yet. You're not fully living as your future self in the present moment. Just like with that gift, you need to tap into that reality to truly make it yours. So, how do you attract the desired reality from different realities? The secret is to focus on the feeling. When you feel like you already have what you desire, you emit the same vibration to the universe, resonating with that exact reality present in the universe. Feel the bliss as though it already belongs to you, rather than merely imagining it. When you're joyful, you send forth vibrations that communicate with the universe and bring your desires to fruition. Channeling the appropriate emotions and vibrations that align with your desires is the key to unlocking the treasures you yearn for in life. Remember, the universe is composed of vibrations and frequencies. So, Take time to exercise attentive awareness while letting go of negative emotions and past traumas. In doing so, you create the conditions for maintaining a positive view and moving closer to your goals. Imagine a happy life, financial independence, love, prosperity, and abundance. Believe it or not, how we feel can actually change our world. It's like pretending we already have what we want, and this can make our real life shift. If we act as if our dreams are already here and truly feel it, the emotions we feel align with what we want, even if it's not here yet. It's like the universe has a surprise gift for us, but it's waiting for the right time to give it to us. The amazing thing is, we get all the things we want, our dreams come true but only when we're fully ready for them and can handle them. Plus, being thankful helps a lot. It's like thanking the universe, 
and it helps us live in the future we want even in the present moment.